Welcome friends, this is Under the Arch Sports. I'm Eric, and today we're going to talk about the newest Mizzou football commit, Tavares Jones. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and find us on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, so Coach Drink has done it again. This time he's gone down to Texas to get a four-star running back, Tavares Jones. Uh, this was a quick development. Mizzou had missed on a couple of running backs. There was the transfer Barlow from TCU that they were after. He ended up going to USC. Uh, some other guys committed. So this all happened in about two weeks. Uh, maybe even less. I'm not, I don't remember exactly. But Tavares Jones got the offer. Within a week, had an official visit at Mizzou. And then like three, four days after his official visit, announced a commitment date. That, so this was somewhat expected, you know, for things to go in that order and progress that quickly, you know, people could follow the, read the tea leaves and see that a commitment was uh, maybe coming. So a little bit about Jones. He is from El Paso, Texas, uh, Burgess High School. I watched an interview with Jones. He said that he's originally from Houston and spent some time in Hawaii uh, because his parents are both in, in the military. Being in Hawaii makes me think Navy, but that's just a side note. Uh, and then, and then he moved to El Paso. I think he said in fourth grade in the interview. In the interview I watched, so he's been in El Paso for a while. And you know, with military family, maybe you might think discipline might be kind of a a strength uh, of his. So that could be a thing. He is five foot eleven, two oh five, according to rivals, and he is, as I said, four star, and not just your kind of. Bare, all, just barely not a three-star. No, he is a highly rated four-star. Rivals has him as a 5.9 rated four-star. They've got him ranked number 135 overall in America. They've got him as the 10th best running back in America and number 20 overall in the state of Texas. So again, a top 20 player from Texas, never a bad idea. 24-7 uh, sports, a little bit lower, but basically the same area. They've got him rated as a 92, also a four-star. They've got him 167th nationally, the 15th best running back, number 29 in Texas. So whichever recruiting service you prefer, he's up there. Uh, you take a look at his offer list, and it reflects his high rankings. He had offers from Alabama, Auburn, Florida, Michigan, Penn State, Texas, Texas A&M, USC Trojans, and a whole bunch of other schools. So Pretty much everybody wanted the guy. So, what is Mizzou getting with Tavares Jones? I was able to take a look at some film, and three things really stood out to me. The first is that he was able to line up at wide receiver, uh, meaning he has the speed to play wide receiver, and he's got the hands to play wide receiver, and he's, able, he's got the, the ability to make the cuts to run a route. Um, in the highlights that they showed, it was pretty much him running go routes when he was lined up outside. So he's got speed. Um, the next thing I noticed is that in the offense, they used, uh, they used the counter play a lot. Um, for people who aren't familiar with the X's and O's of football, the counter is when it's, it's kind of a fake where, you know, the running back might take a couple steps to, to one side and then counter back the other way. Um, just a way to get uh, linemen and really linebackers going one way and then fake them out, go the other way. Um, so what that means is he's got the quickness and shiftiness to fake out defenders effectively. I think it's worth noting also that Jones uh, in high school plays a little bit of cornerback. When, you know, if you're going to play corner at a high level, you have to have a certain shiftiness and acceleration, both of which I think will pay off with him playing running back. And the last thing I noticed that re really stood out to me how... He could just plant a foot and change directions quickly. Kind of, it kind of goes hand in hand with him running counters. That's it's important if you're going to be good at that type of play, misdirection type stuff. That's especially important because, as we've seen a little bit with Coach Drake, there are a lot of kind of tricky misdirection type things in Coach Drake's offense. And I think as he gets more of his guys in the system, I think we'll see more of that. So. That's good to see for, uh, for out of Jones, for Mizzou. Now, what's this mean for the Mizzou football recruiting class of 2022? 
Tavares Jones is the 10th known commitment. Out of those 10, he is the 5th four-star. What kind of world are we living in where half of Mizzou's recruiting class in in July is four-stars? That's, that's crazy. Uh, so that's wild. Um, the recruiting class has consistently been top 15, top 20 range. So this just helps solidify that. That's... That's wild, really. I, it's just craziness. Um, the first running back out of uh, the class of 2022, so that's important. I, I think, I think personally that running back may be a bit of a struggle in 2021 for Missouri, uh, in between the tackles in particular. But Tavares Jones might be the kind of guy who can fix that issue. As I mentioned, he's 205 uh, right now, what he's listed at. Get him in a college weight room, as I say, with almost every recruiting video. 15, 20 more pounds of muscle. Talking 220, 225. That's a load to bring down. Especially if he's as fast as he looks and can get some momentum going. That's going to be a handful for, for linebackers and especially, I guess, the second, third level, corner, secondary, whoever. But anyway, this is a big win for Mizzou. Congrats to Tavares Jones on, on your commitment. Congrats to Coach Drink for a spectacular, spectacular commitment. The kid's a stud. Um, that's all I've got for this video. That said, there are rumblings that Mizzou may not be done recruiting, so keep an eye out for maybe some more videos over this 4th of July weekend. We'll see if that happens. Thanks for checking out this video. Hope to see you guys next time.